What's up beautiful people, listen to Arima, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled 90 Day Fiancé Moments That Make Me Glad I'm Single. <laughs> okay, <laughs> interesting. I'm excited to check this one out. Let's check it out. Thinking about whether I'm going to want to have sex or not, it's probably not a good idea. Is that going to stop you? Yeah, give me. Um, probably not. She's not a healthy person. I think she needs to do a lot of workouts. When I hear husband say that stuff, it just makes me feel like maybe I'm not good enough. Stop being lazy and go to do some workout, honey. Okay. Almost there, lazy. Oh my gosh, lazy. Physically, I'm attracted to Nicole, but it's not like, just like, for example, 55%. 55%. Hey. What? Where are you going? I'm going to get my wallet. Bring me my red. This is my makeup. Can I have a key? Yes, you can have a key. Bye, bitch. What is the problem? I am coming back now. <laughs> oh my god. Whenever I check some videos like this, I just laugh because it just goes to tell you lots of people, or there are some people who don't want to put in, who are not ready to put in the work. At, the, at this point, some people just are better off staying, being single. Some people don't even want to be in a relationship because they don't want to work. What? Yo, I mean, if people sit down to con tell you the things they experience or they, what they do in relationship, you wonder like, are there good people out there? But yo, let's go on. <laughs> and I feel amazing, fantastic. I feel so happiness. Oh my God! Lord Jesus, please, what? no. Into the thick of it. Okay. Into the thick of it. Is he okay? <sighs> I have a lengthy criminal record. I've been in jail. I've been in prison. Okay. I was accused of burning my own house. And then a few years ago, I was in a very terrible relationship. She took out a emergency protective order on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nine one one, what's your emergency? Okay. She called nine one one on him. Oh my god! Women don't really understand the ways that men work in their brains. <laughs> if you think of the brain of the man, there is boxes in that in in his brain. A woman, when there's something small, it tends to get really big. Do you? <laughs> No, yo, wait, 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 this is real. He, he, she called 911 on him. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, this is not making sense. I understand that this might not be real, but yo, let me know about your dating experience if you've ever had any, like, let me know about your worst dating experience. And what he just drew? The brain of a man with a you, you. <laughs> that's not true. I mean, not for all men, though. For some men, but what you can see, look at that lady's face. This is oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. On. It tends to get really big. Do you see how that's incredibly offensive? Yes, I do. That's why I said it. Women, you're very emotional. Okay. <sighs> so, have you thought about asking my dad for a job? No, I'm not gonna ask him. So you're not gonna ask him? It's stupid, Rip. Your attitude is stupid. Forget about it's it. It's not that hard. Okay, bye. Ask him for a job. I don't want to ask for him for because a job. Because if you're pregnant no, and I'm, I'm gonna you're stressed it. out and I'm pregnant. I'm going to solve it. Don't terrorize me with your pregnancy. Clean my ass. 
to my whole family, and you know, it's so clean. Take this, huh? But let me know, have you ever had a dating experience in the case where you, one of you or your partner needed a job and was told to ask one of your parents for a job or something? Let me know how, let me know if you've had that experience and how that went. But this is, yo, oh my god. Why was he pouring water on himself like that? Oh Jesus. Let's go on. Your first bowl of American cereal. Oh. Okay, let's try. Mm. Mm. I can feel a lot of sugar. We love sugar. I heard about that. This will be your treat meal. My treat meal? Yeah, but it is not exactly healthy. Cook Are your mom me, eating right? this too? No, 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 I don't eat that. Okay, good. I can see. I wanted to stay friends. Yeah, I don't want to be friends. I'm sorry. I think we're going to walk away completely. You put weight on. Wonderful. Enjoy your life. I will. Now you're not in it. O Paul tá se forçando muito pra me fazer feliz. Tá procurando casa, tá? Essa é a chance dele mostrar que pode cuidar de nós. Ah, the ghetto! Get out. I love sex. I like lust. I like the energy, the fire, the passion. I wanna. Are you a machine? Having sex four or five times a day? You be machine? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know about Americans eating more sugar. That's why they have more obese people in America. He said he had a lot shakes four to five times a day. For what, Zokwano? Is it food? Hey? Let's go on. I want to have sex four or five times a day. Oh, hell no! Three would be great, but Vanessa doesn't hold the same type of importance. When we do it, she's just like, okay, let's do it. Three hours for fucking sex is ridiculous. Like, come on, let's go. You on the phone, yeah. my dad can't come till January. Yeah. You know that. No, I don't. I was like, yeah, I, was... I don't care. I don't care. It was at this moment that he knew he oh, up. No! I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what the? F I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. Oh my okay. god, it's you okay. guys don't get it. I'm not from here. Where I don't know. Here? I need you to transfer me the $3,000 today to prove that you want me to be here and to prove that you're going to step up. Why did she freak out like that? I mean, things are happening. You understand why you get, we got lots of single people out, like, they don't want to, like, when they take one foot into the dating world, they're like, nah, uh-uh, this is not it. Huh? Let's continue. <laughs> yeah. It's your thing. Get out my room. What are you doing here, Michael? That's not gonna work this time. Oh my God! What is that? Please, please. No, oh, this way. No. Uh, Jesus there's Christ. your cake, Michael. These are my sweet. The rice is done. We're almost Don't ready. Touch me. We're almost you didn't ready. respect me. And you're drunk. Oh my god, I'm scared of you. Whoa. Low oh, class god. drunk, man. Whoa. She's always calling low class. Like, what is this low class stuff? Like, I don't understand. And who was your ex-wife? She probably also some this class. 
What makes you better than anyone else? I you say everyone's low class and this and this. What Hold makes on. you better? Tell Hold me. On. You. What makes you? That has to be a skit. For her to throw the cake at him in his face. Yo. Okay. Let's talk about this lady here. That is calling him a low class drunk. Oh my god. I don't want to believe that. Uh, majority of people have dating experience who are bad, bad or worse. I, I want to believe that lots of people ha still have good experiences in the dating world. But yo, I, I want to believe that this is just highlighting some characters or attitudes people don't even shed regarding the dating world or dating life. <sighs> Jesus, or relationship life. But yo, okay love checking this let's go on you what makes you Ooh, better everyone. than anyone it's sad but i want to be honest with you because i like you he told me to say huh? hi to my roommate and that she's really pretty yeah that's wow true. that happened and my roommate by the way she's 26. Okay. i still want to be with him <laughs> <laughs> Ed, are you willing to give your relationship with Liz another try? This is no Um, um, I mean, I was the one that broke up with you, like, seven times. You never broke up with me. You never stopped trying. I was always the one that, that kicked you out. So, Liz, would you get back together with Ed? Um, I've missed Ed a lot. <laughs> What just happened? Nah. I want to believe this is not real. Because, I mean, yeah, there are lots of people who don't see nothing wrong with this. I mean, they are telling you to your face. And you are like, you see, is she love struck or what? Yo, what? Let's go on. Ed a lot. This last month. Ah! Mm -hmm. I still love him. Ed, yes or no? You want to give it another shot or no? I don't know. I don't I can't answer that right now. I, I need a hand. Yeah, well, nothing She's I can not do now. Okay, no, 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 no. Come here for a second. No, I can't. I'm busy mopping. Do the hard things, Ronald. Like what? Change the diaper. Yeah. No, that's your job. You have a child. You get literally no choice. I do have a choice because I have a wife. <laughs> Don't I? Yo, this is interesting. I love everything put together in the compilation. This is hilarious at the same time. But I mean, lots of people would pick a lesson here. Well, and I just want to believe that not everybody have worse dating experience or worse relationship experience and all. Some people still have nice things about their dating experience and good things or see good in their relationship and all. I mean, well, that, this just goes to tell you that some people are not ready to be in a relationship and they are not ready to work on one. Or work on having one so um at this point people should really see to know what they want really and work on themselves some people don't even love themselves yet they want somebody to love them nobody can love you the exact the way you want except you do yourself well yo this is interesting i loved checking every bit of this clip let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share i really love your honest contribution you can share all that useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video